imagine comparing civilizations, not through the lens of their military might or economic power, but on a canvas that stretches across the cosmos itself. In this grand scale, how do we measure an entire society? This is not just about who prevails on Earth, but which realms dominate the vastness of space. From the interstellar conflicts of Star Wars to the cosmic explorations of Star Trek, from the superhuman sagas of Marvel to the mythic tales of DC Comics. How do we determine which universe boasts the greatest advancements? Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev in 1964 wanted to answer that question, and thus the Kardashev scale was born. So sit back and strap in as we embark on a journey through the scale and assess not only our place in it, but how these fictional universes would measure up in this universal hierarchy of power. When you think about it, every living being consumes energy, from bacteria to the dinosaurs. In this context, the Kardashev scale is a way to measure a civilization's level of technological progress by the amount of energy at its disposal. Devised by Nikolai Kardashev, the scale initially outlined three ascending types, each reflecting a significant leap in energy harnessing capabilities. Type 1 civilizations have achieved mastery over the energy resources of their home planet. This includes the ability to control earthquakes and hurricanes. Advancing to Type 2, these civilizations can tap into the full potential of their star's energy. Using concepts like the Dyson Sphere, they would be able to make use of one of nature's most powerful energy sources. Culminating with Type 3 civilizations, which possess the ability to utilize energy from across the entire galaxy, harnessing the power of every star and black hole. Carl Sagan, upon examining the Kardashev scale, identified two main limitations. One, its lack of precise measurability, and two, its rigid characterization without room for intermediate levels. To address these, he introduced a formula. Here, K represents the Kardashev constant, and W is the measure of energy consumption in watts. Drawing from the BP Statistical Review of World Energy for the year of 2022, which documents a global energy production of just under 19 terawatts, we can use these figures and plug them into our equation. By doing so, we discover that Earth currently sits at 0.73 on the Kardashev scale. As we've journeyed through the Kardashev scale, we've unraveled a fascinating method of characterizing the vast capabilities of civilizations, not just on Earth, but potentially in the far reaches of the cosmos. This scale transcends the traditional metrics of power and opens our eyes to the immense possibilities that lie in harnessing energy. The realization that Earth currently sits at a mere 0.73 on this scale is both humbling and inspiring. It highlights how much potential growth lies ahead for our civilization in terms of energy mastery and technological advancement. We are just at the dawn of our journey, with a universe of possibilities waiting to be explored. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay curious.